Okay, this is the watch list video for Monday, February 6th. Um, this happened this weekend. My wife won yet another battle, so I'm not going to not use my watch list video to at least show you. Um, I say she won the battle, but I'm in love with that little thing. Um, can't tell there, but she's one pound. I mean, she is tiny. Anyway, my wife did win a battle, so that's a new addition to our family. All right, so here we go. Um, the spy popped out of this range on Friday and up near all-time high, so plenty strong, right? And that's what we uh, we just want to identify that there's no shock events before we go into a, a watch list for the next day. So here is the list I've compiled. It's a little bit lengthy, um, but I think these are some stocks that are worth watching Monday. And out of this list, I don't care if I get one or two trades. That's, that's generally, um, if they set up right and I take them at an inflection point like we teach, um, that's generally all I'll need to make my daily goal, and then I can worry about Tuesday. So... Um, TBIO has pretty nice, after this huge pop here and then the gap up the next day that failed, um, it's really found some nice support in this, uh, oh, 70, 70 cent area, something like that. And it had a little extra volume and popped to the upside on Friday. Now, I generally don't like trading stocks under a buck, but I think this chart is worth watching. Um, MYOS had this crazy move back here and then an intraday monster move um, from 261 to 6 before coming all the way back down to 365. I keep thinking this one if I'm not mistaken, announced an offering um, in the afternoon. Uh, but sometimes those are still wa worth watching the next day. And I kind of think you have the same thing. Don't quote me on these. I think you had the same thing in PULM, Monster Move. And I think they announced an offering. Um, you can email me if you want. I'm not positive. But I don't really take the time to look up the news because I, I trade off of charts and inflection points. Um, and this both of those, um, MYOS and PULM, certainly worth having on a watch list uh, or on a chart on, uh, on Monday. OREX, nice breakout on Friday. Uh, maybe we get a red to green, something like that, for a continuation day. Certainly worth watching. OTIV, um, you had this pop. You had a lower high here, a little kind of a flag, and it's trying to break to the upside, a little extra volume. Thinner stock, um, but worth watching for uh, for Monday. CERU had a breakout of this tight range here on Friday and went from $1.11 to $1.68 on an intraday basis. That's a huge move before settling in well off its highs at $1.30, but you could also argue well off of its uh, close the previous session. So, you know, it's kind of in the middle of a big range. Uh, again, it's one you want to have on watch. ZAIS, uh, huge move back here, another one back here, a couple spikes that were thwarted here, 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 and here, but this one held up better than any recent spike. So we might get a red to green, something like that in ZAIS, certainly worth watching. BNTC, monster move, or monster move here, then a monster move here. And then a, a gap down, much less volume, kind of a quiet inside red day. Sometimes you get a third day play on those. Goes on a chart. NAKD, um, huge move on Thursday, then gapped up, and another huge morning move on Friday before you know giving back a lot of the gains, closing below Thursday's low. But if you do the math from here to here, it's probably a little over 50% retrace, retracement from the full range. Uh, absolutely worth watching on, uh, on Monday. Um, let's see, that was... N A K D C Y N O. Um, this is a bounce play. Yeah, a really nice two-day move here, and then a retracement, a partial retracement on lower volume than uh, at least than the big day here um, goes on our bounce play watch list. Uh, G L B S also goes on our bounce play watch list. Which you know, this one had a huge move back here, huge move back here, and I'll expand on why I'm watching this in a little bit. Um, but anyway, it's like four or five days down the road to the 20-day um, narrow range on Friday, so. Just by itself, it goes on bounce watch anyway, being at the 20 day like that. But you'll see why I'm also interested in a little bit here. ETRM, huge four day move, gapped, you know, or, or settled down, came back down, and then really found a range and then broke out of that range big time um, on big volume. On that would have been Wednesday, then Thursday had a red day, then Friday, sort of a narrow range, but holding up above its open. So I want to watch that one on Monday. Um, BCLI had this breakout. Over this area, um, this would have been Wednesday, then Thursday, tried to continue but gave some of it back, finding support at the 8-day and closing above its open. This one might have a pop on, uh, on Monday. Goes on watch. Okay, and then dry ships. This is why I have uh, GLBS. Another reason I like GLBS, you know what, I'm not going to zoom in that far. I'll just go to 15s. So dry ships had this gap up and a huge move. Um, I mean, a monster move. The volume was insane on this day. And then the next day, you never broke its opening 15-minute high, nor did you the next day nor the next day, but a nice kind of, it stayed inside of its 15 minute range the entire day um, on Friday. So this is one that if it can break 
Friday's range over 450. This one could pop after that monster volume last earlier last week. So I like dry ships for a potential long over 450 or maybe um, as, a, as a different kind of entry on, on depending on how it sets up on an intraday basis. And then lastly, I have RTTR. Here's the daily. So um, you kind of had this kind of ascending triangle here. Tried to break out over a couple days. Then sellers came in, you know, kind of retesting the breakout area, finding support at the eight day and it's right back up. So I like this one over Friday's high, which would be 360. That might just be enough to push it through um, that 370 high of the breakout. Okay, so I'm gonna put in my notes uh, 360 and 371 as potential catalysts. And that is my entire list. We'll also add some gappers in the morning for our potential gap and go plays when we see the uh, pre-market volume movers. And um, between all of those, Darn it, I should be able to get uh, a nice trading day in. So um, we'll enjoy the Super Bowl, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see everybody on Monday.